hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i will show you how you can design a pcb or create a footprint from a autocad or solidworks dxf drawing actually i have the dimensional drawing of a high frequency transformer uh, from this uh, dxf file i will create a footprint of this high frequency transformer so first create a project Now select the path or folder where you want to save the project. Now give a project name. So after creating the project just go to add new to project then click on the PCB. So you can see a blank PCB is opened. Now just change the origin as I am doing. Uh, you can change the origin from the edit section. After that we have to import the file like whatever the DXF or DWG file you have now you have to import that file so just click on the import then click on the DXF DWG now select the file here just select the scale in mm basically you can select this in milli also actually it is mm is defined in my particular drawing that's why i am choosing mm okay then just click on ok so you can see the mechanical structure is converted into a pcb footprint here the circle represents the transformer pins So now we are going to cut these holes from the PCB or footprint you can see. So basically we have two options. Here you can directly place the pad also or you can cut out the hole from the PCB. So I will show both the options. At present I want to show you how you can cut out the holes from the PCB. So just select a hole then go to tool and click on convert and then click on create board cutout from selected primitives so you can see the selected circle has cut out from the PCB now just do the same thing for all the circles So now you can see all the circles are converted into the board cutout. So now we will redesign the board shape 
according to our transformer dimension. Okay, now I want to show the another method or the second process. You need not to cut out or convert the board primitives into the cutout, just only place the pads directly. Like just click on the pad and just place the pads in the circles because at the time of footprint you need the pads for electrical connections. So do similar thing for all the circles. So I think it is clear that how you can convert a AutoCAD or SOLIDWORKS DXF DWG file into a PCB and also how you can cut out uh, selective primitives from the board. So I think it will help you. If you like this video, please click on the like button. For latest video update, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.